everybody. Welcome to the Chris and Dan show. Glad to have you here. Oh, wait, I didn't do it. Uh Uh-oh. Dan, go shoot it, everybody. So happy to have you all here with us for another topic. Hopefully you find interest in this. Um, Today we're discussing retiring, right? Nah. Can you retire? Will Some you are closer than others to retirement age. Yeah, absolutely. Will you be forced to retire? Will you be unable to retire? Because it's that. I will never retire. Never. See, that's a lot of assumptions going there, right? Nope. I will never retire. Mm. I'll be working till they put me under. So, and I, that's because I want to. But I, see, I disagree with that, and I can give you mm. a guaranteed how you're wrong. Guaranteed. 100%. Tell me how. Okay, let's see if you have Alzheimer's. Well, I, that's, I can't that's remember God's crap. plan. That's God's plan at that point. That, that doesn't matter. You just said it was guaranteed you work till you die. And I'm telling you, that's not how okay. it works in life. Guaranteed There's I work exceptions. Till I die. Guaranteed I work till I die, God willing, and health, health, yeah, health but good un- health. But unfortunately, there's circumstances that arise sure. that are sure. unforeseen. Gotcha. So, it's best to have all your bases covered. My opinion. My opinion. This is why I love this topic, man, because we're going to end up saying the same thing in different ways. Sure. Um, At least I, just, I think. Sure. I, what I know for sure is eventually, I don't know what generation this occurs, but you will not be able to retire dependent upon Social Security. That's just a given, right? I mean, right. one of the. So not to get into politics, but one of the worst presidents, in my opinion, ever, which would be Bush, um, uh, in 2000, what year was it? I don't know, 2004, somewhere around there. He was talking Mm -hmm. about how Social Security will eventually run out of funds. And again, mind you, I do not like this president. Um, Top three, easily in the top three worst presidents, in my opinion. Right, right. Right. And but I thought that was great that he was bringing that up because the writing was on the wall even at that point, right? The funding would run out, so right. it needed to be privatized. And boy, but was he funding... la- was he lambasted for that. But here's the thing, Chris, and this is where I like my generation, millennials and younger, I already know that. I was raised from high school. I remember teachers telling me in high school, when you retire, there's not going to be a social security. Certainly. Like we were already fear pouring out. We already knew this is why that's the gig economy with my generation and younger. Mm-hmm. We were told this is why we jump around from job to job. And this is why we try to figure out how to do our own stuff. It's because we were scared shitless with this stuff from day one and it's all correct. But that's, yeah. That's for like that's for employees that are dependent on a company or the government to take care of them the rest of their life. Pension used to be a thing. There's almost no such thing as pension anymore. Mm-hmm. Uh, Social Security is probably going to be bankrupt. Everybody already knows that you need a plan in place for retirement. This is why business self-employment is so important and why even that Ninety percent. If I walk around, I'm in my in the office right now. Okay, we share suites with other businesses. Mm-hmm. If I were to walk around to every suite here, there's a nail salon here. There's a pesticide people there. There's a plumbers behind us. There's a massage therapist over there, and there's us Yuma Clinical Trail. I already know one, maybe two of those businesses I just mentioned are not dependent on the owner to succeed. Mm-hmm. Two, I think it's the plumbing, and they're the ones that actually own the building, and Yuma Clan Control. Like, I could almost remove myself now, and we're only three years old, and it would still function properly with the other stakeholders I put in place, with the systems we've built. But I guarantee you, I go to this exterminator, I go to this nail people i go to the massage if she's sick there's no massages if they're sick there's no nails getting done right so they're building they're not building systems they're building a a service-based self-employment it's just it's the same thing it's one step better than employment it's self-employment 
Sure. What, they... what the other businesses are, and I learned this from Rich Dad Poor Dad, they're building systems to where it doesn't matter. I can take a year off. If you can take a year off, like it said in the e myth, the first one of the first books I read, and you come back, and not only is your business still there, but it's possibly better than before you left. Then you can get, God forbid, Alzheimer's or cancer, and the business still works without you. That should sure. be the goal for every business person, but it's sure. not. And Warren Buffett said the same thing as Rich Dad, Poor Dad. He said, uh, I'm going to paraphrase because I don't remember exactly, but it, you need to figure out a way to earn money while you sleep. If you haven't, you'll always work. Right. Whether that's financial investing, yeah. investing in your own business, investing in real estate investing in crypto a combination of those i think there's like 10 percent of people understand that and maybe five percent of people in this country actually do that but you're yeah. right the rest are the rest are kind of screwed i mean well <laughs> they are so the only real disagreement i think you and i have would be i'm a little more conservative than you i think um i think that's fair to say and oh, I, to say. I don't like relying on one thing. I like having, I, I'm like, I'm like an engineer on a, on a passenger plane. I want backup systems in place just in case the one We're I'm relying to. on. Yes. In case the one I'm relying on the main functioning one does not work out. Right. That's, that's all I'm saying. Right? But we do, you and I both have multiple businesses. We do. The Certainly. majority of them are in the same industry. Which is a problem. Which is a problem. It's a it's problem. In my opinion. We're working on it. I mean, when I moved to San Diego, the plan is I'm already putting the plan in place to do more biotech stuff, but that's still like, still the same niche. It's not like something completely right. different than right. what we're doing. But we're both invested in real estate. Yep. You know, we can start investing in like other industries outside of life sciences. Yep. But I think my point is. People like you and I, and hopefully others watching, at least can get on that path. Because if I left right now, like you, my clinical trials would probably not do as well, right? Mm -hmm. So I still have time to build that system. And same thing with DSCS. Mm -hmm. If one of us left, like for a year, it would suffer. Mm-hmm. But we still have time to build that system. Oh, sure. And I think on some businesses we're closer than than we than like on that goal and on others we're farther. And I think that's that should be like what we focus on. Um, in addition to diversifying the funds and all that stuff. But most Americans, man, they're, they're so far removed from this discussion, like they're expecting their job to take care of them or the industry or their own like the guy was saying in the video you shared mm -hmm. their own ira which my ira is like it's gonna be a joke i already told my wife that's just to like travel and stuff like, yeah that's not really it's not part of the plan to live it's not part of the plan to live yep yeah. i mean god willing at the current rate that we're going to like where i still have 20 25 years so I have to start cashing that out. But if we do it right, that's just going to be messing around money. That's not like to live off of. Well, somebody we both know quite well, um, who's financially very well off, at least we both believe he is. He <laughs> he said, because him and his wife would take frequent vacations for very long extended periods of time, an older guy. Um, mm -hmm. And he said that that's all he uses, him and his wife, that's all they use Social Security <clears throat> for. They both still worked because they wanted to, which is what you're talking about. But they both like to take very long vacations. They didn't have to work. Right. They just worked to keep active. I, this is the way I took it. Because um, they took right. vacations as much as they worked, right? And he, he said that Social Security was their means to do so. That's all it was for them, vacation money. Which but is most basically... People... Which is what you're saying for you, because Social Security won't be there most likely. Well, I'm not even counting on that. Right. Like, that's going to be zero. So your IRA is is this person that I'm speaking of. That's your replacement to what yeah. he's referring to. And right now, it's heavily invested in Tesla, 
I just cashed out of a lot of my Amazon. I've had Amazon since 2010 in there. So I got rid of some Amazon. I still hold like the original principal, but the profits, which have like quadrupled, I put into Apple, Tesla, a biotech and Palantir. So those are like the next decade. And then after that, I'll assess again for another decade. And then after that, you start going safe just the last five years to not lose it. Mm -hmm. And then that's it. So I could, if I do it right, I could 5X again. And then just not lose it the last five years. <laughs> so what would be your message to those few people who are probably going to watch this video? But what would, what would be your message in terms of preparing yourself or retirement outside of have a business, right? Because eighty percent of all businesses fail, so that's not going to work well, for a lot of have people. one have one that doesn't. Yeah, that's just keep trying one. until it doesn't. Yeah, what's that? Why is it not working? Like, figure it out, you know. And if you're a sole proprietor, that's great. Maybe you are a barber or a nail salon lady. Nothing wrong with that, but think about more than just hand to mouth, like do what others don't do so that you can actually build a system to where when you retire at least own the real estate that you operate in or have something to show for it that's beyond your work hours in output out because whether you work for yourself or someone else that's a losing formula at the end of the day even if you're high paid Mm -hmm. that's generally a losing formula like there's people making half a million a year in salary that work for someone else that are going to be screwed just like there are people making twenty thousand a year well that are going to be screwed that's possibly true so which really i was going to answer my own question and <laughs> you and i know that somebody that i asked this question to about a year ago and her answer was, I have no idea, right? I have no idea. She's about my age. I have no idea uh -huh. what I'm going to do for retirement. Do you have I an interesting I'm... accent? Yeah. I guess, I, okay. I guess, I guess I'm, well, not really. I Did guess I'm going to get carried out of a bar recently. Oh, a while back. Yes. Okay. A while I back. Who this is. Did so... I carry her out of a bar? No. No. Oh. No. About my oh, age. I don't know who this is. Yes, you do. I'll tell you. I, I, I don't ah, want to okay. my name. Is she another stakeholder of another venture of ours? Yes. Okay, so, I know who this is. Okay, so she said, I have no idea. I guess I'm never going to retire. I was like, okay, well, that's fine. But what happens if you have to? And she goes, well, and I'll depend on my kids. Right? Horrible, horrible plan. Now, right? this person invested in real estate. Does she still have it? Yeah. Yeah, but you can't, you so can't she's retire. she's better off than most. Yes, but has you can't... more than her addition, her own primary residence. Yeah, I don't really know if I would look at it that way, but sure. And yeah, absolutely. If nothing else, you can sell that property that you're not living in. Yeah. When you're retired, and hopefully it's paid off by then, and you have cash right there. Some, right? But not enough to retire on. So. I mean, what do you think you will need? Well, what do you, what would you need today to retire? I would guess in California, you need a minimum of no bills and a hundred thousand a year almost. That's my guess. Just to live in California, Southern California. Yeah, right? I think that's, and living modestly too. Yeah, no bills, hundred grand a year. That's, that's a lot of money for, I mean, the average salary. Uh, no, no bill, like no mortgage. No, you can do more. You can do less than that, but I see your point. Most people are screwed, though. Like, exactly. Right? So have a plan now. The younger you are, that you have a plan and make sure and stick to your plan, the better off you are. Yeah, Dan's absolutely The plan right. could be invest in Bitcoin. Yeah, Everyone well, it could should be a... have had one Bitcoin by now. If it dips mm. again, make sure you get another one. Understand what you're investing in. Don't Don't spend everything you earn. I mean... Yep. So there, the video that I sent you, I don't think you got far enough because you said you watched half of it. But Like half, yeah. Yeah, he, he brought up and showed 
uh, and he mentioned the name of a, a compound calculator. So go find one of those. I don't think you made it that far. Um, mm -hmm. But it shows you if you invest so much each month at, and at an expected return of 8%, if it's the stock market, because that's been the historical average, um, how much you need to save over what time period in order to be able to retire whatever fixed income you think you need, right? It's a, it's a good step in understanding if you're not going to work for yourself, and develop the systems Dan's referring to. It's a good tool to determine, hey, if I work for somebody else, how much money do I need to make to support myself now and myself with the future? It's a great tool. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people shouldn't just think of retirement. They should think, what if I lose my job tomorrow? Sure. Like, how are you going to live now? Forget about retirement. What are yeah. you going to do now? Well, and the argument is, well, you're of working age, you should be able to go get a job, but that's not always guaranteed. Yeah, I mean... Like, what if you're a real estate agent and your broker just fired you and now you have to go out and produce on your own and most realtors can't do that. And so what are you going to actually do? Yeah, and add on top of that, the complexity of, say, it's 2009 all over and you can't make any money as a real estate agent, whether you have a job or not, right? Because you're dependent upon right. sales. So, I mean, that's just true of that industry, but it could be true of any industry. So uh, my advice is build a bit, figure out a business, even a small one. Initially, it's fine to live hand to mouth, but put aside, figure out how to build something that works without you, meaning try to find a way to replace yourself from it, mm -hmm. which, yes, it's going to eat into your profits, but it's you're building something that's going to last without you. And then you can go on vacation and do stuff like that and get involved uh, when you have to. But what is, what is your advice? Yeah, I mean, I completely agree with that, right? Um, but like I said, it, you can make a half a million dollars a year or even less and retire nicely uh, if you invest appropriately. If the problem with most people, and this person included, this hypothetical person by no meaning in real life, is their lifestyle increases sure and the same proportion as their income, income increases so they're at the end of the day they're no different than that person making 20k a year well that's where you have to budget out and most people don't have a budget i don't i doubt you do too but no. um, you have to budget out hey i it doesn't matter what i spend so long as i have this much money to invest each month i do do that Right. I don't pay attention to how much I spend, but I make sure I invest the X amount every month. Me too. I do that too. Yeah. yeah. So that's kind of a half, half ass budget. Right. Yeah. Um, so you at least need to do that, especially if you're employed, especially if you're employed. Right. Right. Cause you can't say, Hey, we got, you know, like you and I are very fortunate knock on wood. Hopefully that continues till I die. But, um, you know, we have plenty of money in our in our accounts as far as our business. And if something really catastrophic happened to one of us, we could probably hit up the other and say, hey, man, can we take, we both have done this. You more than I actually. I think <laughs> right? I did it to buy a house or something. You did. You did. Um, but the point is, is, you know, a lot of people aren't in that scenario, right, where they have extra, right, unfortunately. So you have to plan. Yeah. You have to you have to plan for bad times. You have to plan for your retirement. You have to plan for these things. And unfortunately, ninety percent of people they don't have a thousand dollars in savings right now. Yeah, see, that's America. bad. To me, that's worse than this guy's fear porn of so retirement is bad. Like people are not even. It's so bad, Chris. People are not even thinking about that. Yeah, I know. Like they're screwed now. Forget about retirement. I know. I know that's why crazy. that video when you sent the fear porn in the morning. Well, First it wasn't all, fear. It, it wasn't it fear to the wrong porn. crowd. No, I sent it to the exact right crowd. You're well, not looking yeah, at it how I looked at it. I know the people I sent it to don't have that concern. They have enough money. They don't have to be concerned with emergencies. It was more of, hey, just think about your future and be prepared for it. That's the crowd I was thinking of. I wouldn't have sent that video to the female I was speaking of earlier. I would right. not send that to her because. Uh, nah. But like the ones that you sent it to, we are in the middle of like redesigning one of our businesses that hopefully will operate this way. 
we got a deal, potential deal with Mexico. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's there's a chance, you know, that we're okay with that too. And in yeah. the stage that we're in, we're building. So we're building businesses that are hopefully self sustaining. Not all will not all will succeed, but the ones that do, you just hope that it's enough to cover your net. That's what she said. Um, when you retire. Yeah, absolutely. But, Anything but I don't else like, you want to I, add? Or like I said, I'm just going to reiterate. I don't like hope. I don't like basing anything on hope. So that's well, why I like redundancy. Yeah, redundancy is good. Like have enough businesses, build enough systems, yep. have a brand. How many people have a brand? Like one-tenth of one percent. One-tenth of one percent would be my guess. Yeah, even like a local, I'm talking about local brands. Like, I'm just, yeah. I'm in Yuma, so Yuma. Like, how many of these businesses here locally, Joe, Joe Schmo, whatever, there's only a handful of local businesses here that have a brand. Like, no matter who owned it, I would still go eat their burritos. You know, I would still go get my hair cut there. Mm-hmm. Very few. Very few. The rest are all commodities. Hand and mouth ownership. Yep. Um, it's, 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 I guess I was going to say it's not okay, but for some people it's okay. But it wouldn't it be is, the way I would do it. It is if they're investing enough money to meet their, what they expect their demands to be when they retire right. or something right. happens. Otherwise, right. you're screwed. Don't be screwed. <laughs> right. Let's say, hey, you know what, Dan? I'm not going to build systems. I'm going to manage my business as a sole proprietor until I retire. But what I am doing instead of hiring someone else is investing in these things every month instead. I would say that's okay. Yeah, exactly. So long as you have a plan and the plan makes common, not common sense, but it makes sense. Because mm-hmm. there is no common but sense. The majority, of people, the majority of people don't do that. You want to no, get I... some of these songs? Yeah. Or you still got... No, no, no. Did we leave anything uh, no, no. untouched? No, I like you said, and I agree. We, we for the most part, agree. Um, yeah, we say the same thing in different ways, but well, where you and I kind of diverge, at least I think, is just I don't like even. I know we have a ton of we have like I just sent uh, I copied you on the email today to our CPA. Yeah, uh, too many. She she hadn't prepared her taxes for four businesses, so it's like, hey. Uh, Get, well, no get wonder busy. she's ignoring my emails about what I'm going to owe. She has no way of knowing. <laughs> yes, because there's four businesses without tax returns. But anyhow, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, that's that's awesome, right? Especially if only one or two even are successful. That's awesome, right? Thankfully, at this point, they're all successful. Knock on wood again. Well, not but, all, but yeah. For the most part, the majority, right? Mm-hmm. The Thankful. ones that aren't, we're trying to cut, cut the but, excess. Thankfully, we haven't failed at the 80% standardized rate, right? I mean, we've had a couple failed businesses. Um, yeah. Two come to mind right off the top of my head that are already gone. Um, yeah. But the point is, is uh, even still, I mean, you never know what can happen, right? And especially since they're all in the same business, I just like having other things in place, just in case. I do too. So. so the first reaction I think my wife sent to us and neither of us had actually seen it. No. And it, the way she kind of presented it, it sounds like it's kind of maybe heavy metal rock, but it, it, oh, yeah. from another country or something, if I remember correctly. So if you're, if you just go to our channel and watch those reactions, 